I am Carl Trickvason, Tanoto Professor in Diabetes Research at Duke NUS Medical School in Singapore. We do two types of research, which is based on four decades of my own research in America, Finland and Sweden, and now here in Singapore. Diabetes is increasing everywhere. It's worse, unfortunately, in Asia. Today, 60% of the world's diabetic population is Asian. We also know that the percentage of undiagnosed cases in Asia-Pacific is higher than the global average of 46%. This is a situation that we want to change. Like in China, over 11% of the whole population of China has diabetes. And it's similar here, proportionally, in Singapore. It's a major cost in healthcare in this country. I think it's about 15% of the healthcare costs. So it's a huge problem. Diabetes is often called a silent killer. Those who have diabetes often do not know that they have the condition until serious complications have set in. Left untreated, patients may need amputations, fall into a coma, or even die. A major therapy for diabetes is to use insulin. You have to inject it with a syringe, and it's not very nice to have such therapy for your whole life. We had developed a method so that we can actually take these insulin-producing islet groups of cells and we make these cells from embryonic stem cells and culture them and expand them to large quantities. So the next step is to take this and hope that we can actually treat diabetes, also type 2 diabetes, with this islet transplantation using these islets that we have expanded in the laboratory. The second project is to find out why certain patients with diabetes develop complications, get kidney disease, become blind, have to be amputated, and we are looking for genes that can predispose the diabetic patients to such complications and other DNA changes that will protect from getting complications. It's very important when you're trying to find uh, genetic causes of disease that you have a well-defined groups of patients. Singapore is an exciting country to do this kind of work because you have three quite clearly defined ethnic groups and we now have good evidence that by working on this kind of question using very well-defined populations, that's a good way to go forward. Through endowing the Tanoto Foundation Professorship in Diabetes Research at Duke NUS, we want to get behind the science of diabetes. Our hope is that by speeding up what we know about diabetes, patients can benefit from more effective treatments in a shorter period of time. We are all dependent on funding. It is what fuels our work. With the money coming from the Tanoto Foundation, it's more flexible. And it's important to have at least a certain amount of such money, which we can use in a flexible way. Because in research, we are looking for answers to the unknown. And we cannot always know beforehand exactly how we're going to do the job. As a scientist, you are creating new knowledge. We are always making small steps of progress. It's like uh, when you climb a mountain, get to the top. When you come to the top, you see there's a lot of other mountains even higher. And it's the same in research. It just creates new questions. And you know what, if you can solve the problem, you can help these people become healthy, develop therapies. This is what drives us forward. It's the excitement that you can help people who have disease. It, it's very satisfying.